Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBP Nuts video series on binary interview question series and this video is about printing a bottom view of a binary tree meaning you are going to look at this tree or any binary tree from here okay so how many nodes you will print and how this that is going to look like so before this we have seen uh, a top view so if you want to learn more deeply like how you will see a tree from any view I would suggest go and watch that video actually it's there in the same playlist okay or you can see that somewhere here in the pop-up so we know that if we draw lines then it will become very easy for us to actually understand like what are we talking okay so let me just draw these lines yeah so keep in mind that this 6 and 8 are actually under the same line okay so I'm drawing this so let's give the names for the line or the distance so basically you can call it a line 0 minus 1 minus 2 so if you go from left from from 0 to left then you will make minus if you will go in the right hand side then you will make plus uh, why plus and minus I'll tell you that so we have drawn the line now it becomes very easy for you to see which one is coming first in line okay so for this line we have only one element so we will have 5 and this line we have 9 and this line now there is a confusion because below this 2 we have 6 and 8 so we'll consider which one is coming later okay so if you see this or if you draw this line which one is coming later in this line 8 so we'll consider that I mean you can choose 6 also there is no problem in that if the interviewer is okay with that so this line is done this is done this is done and then in this line we encounter first one and then seven and then four so the whole idea is you have to find a way to print only these nodes because that's what you can see from here so for that we'll use vertical order traversal like I have already explained this video if you don't know what is vertical order traversal you can go and check that or stay here we'll try to understand that also so in vertical order traversal you actually that is called vert vertical order traversal but you horizontally tra traverse okay so you traverse like this and then like this then this and then this and you actually maintain two things one is this map and another is a queue so we have queue and map and we'll push this two with distance zero inside this queue okay so let's do that we have 2 with distance 0 correct so this is your node pointer and this is going to be your distance of that so the distance of 2 is 0 right yeah we'll start processing this queue and fill this map and in the end you will have a result in this map and the rule would be let's suppose you already have some key in the map you will override it what I mean is see for this particular line I told you that we have 2 6 and 8 so for 0th line 2 6 and 8 are competing so if you are traversing like this you will obviously hit 2 first and then 6 and then 8 so you have to make the entry with 0 and 2 and then the moment you hit this 6 is also with 0 you will remove that 2 I mean you will just replace that 2 with 6 and then later you will see 8 is also coming with 0 you will remove 6 or replace 6 with 8 so that's how you you are going to have a bottom view of a binary tree and this is when you have multiple candidates trying for single line okay and when you have only single like this 5 so for this particular line we have only one candidate right so there is no competition you can just simply say that okay for this line we have only five so let's quickly traverse this and we'll understand this better so we have populated this we'll remove this now and see do we have left or right for this yes we have then we'll put three with minus one see we have minus one and how we will reach to this minus one and all that actually if you are considering the left hand side of your current node then what you will choose you will do 0 minus 1 and if you are choosing the right hand side node 
from your current then you will do 0 plus 1 meaning whatever you have the distance you will make plus 1 if you are looking for the right hand side and minus 1 if you are looking for the left hand side so we already have 0 with us so for 2 the left hand side would be 0 minus 1 so that is minus 1 and right hand side is like 4 1 and after removing this we will check or not check we'll just simply start making the entry so we have 0 key with 2 value and then we'll go for 3 because this is Q we'll remove 3 from here and make an entry minus 1 would be key and the value will be 3 and after that we'll see 5 and 6 are there for this 3 so we'll put 5 with minus 2 and 6 with 0 okay and then similarly we'll process this 4 also so 1 is going with 4 and we have 8 and 7 so we'll put 8 with 0 and 7 with 2 we are done we'll do this minus 2 5 okay so we have key as minus 2 and the value is 5 and with 5 we have one element 9 so that 9 is with minus we are done we'll remove 6 now the moment we are removing 6 we saw that this 6 is having key as 0 so this 0 already exists so we'll just simply replace this 6 and 6 is not having any child so it's okay we'll go for 8 and 0 see similarly we'll replace this 0 with 8 now okay so we have 8 and then 8 is also not having anything so we'll go ahead and hit 7 now 7 is with 2 so there is no entry for that we'll make a new entry but after removing 7 we have to push 1 and 4 in the queue so we have 1 with 1 and then 4 with 3 okay let's quickly go for this 9 we have minus 1 in the map we'll just simply replace that with minus 1 so 9 is the new value for minus 1 and then we'll go for this one we have already 1 with this 4 so let's remove this 4 and make 1 and then we'll go for the last one which is 4 and if you see there is no entry for this 3 so we'll put 3 and 4 so you are done with this queue and your map is ready so if you are using map in a C++ then it is a sorted and if you loop over it you will get minus 2 first so you get 5 as a value let me write that and then after minus 2 you will go for minus 1 then you will have 9 this is done and then you will go for 0 so you have 8 this is done we will go for 1 then so for 1 you have 1 then 2 we have 7 and then 3 we have 4 so see this is exactly matching with this one now let's look at the code quickly we have this root here we'll simply check if this root is null we'll return from here otherwise we will create map I told you right we have to create two data structure map and this is the queue and we'll push the root with zero distance inside this queue and we'll iterate over this queue okay so we are iterating over this queue and checking if it is not empty we'll go inside this we'll take out the front value of that queue so this is this element data type is pair of node pointer and the distance or the line number we have taken out element dot first so first is like node pointer here elements dot first will be node pointer elements dot second would be this integer and see we are directly assigning this nodes value to this distance as a key if you remember previous video we had a if condition here to check if this this or this key already exist we were not replacing that so in that case you was looking from the top so the only difference is you will not check if that key already exists you will replace that key and only this difference is there and same code can be used for bottom view also and these two conditions are very simple you will just simply check if nodes left pointer is not null you will push that left pointer which is not null with distance minus one so I told you right if you are going into the left hand side from here then you will have minus one with whatever currently you have okay so if you see this now so if you see this now 
we have distance which is 0, so 0 minus 1. And for right hand side we are having 0 plus 1. And then Q will again get populated and until unless this Q is empty we will keep on rotating in this loop. And in the end you have this map data structure which is holding your key and value. And this is sorted so you will have the correct output. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit the like button dude. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos guys. Bye bye. Take care.